What's up, mother fudgers? It's your neighborhood ghost, Killer, and welcome to Killer X Creation. This channel is mainly for arty stuff, which is like speed paints, animations, so on and so forth, and all that jazz. So if you have come from my previous, or well, my first ever channel, which is Killer X Susie, uh, this is the video that I'll be explaining everything for my redesign. Now, if you're a newcomer, hello, my name is Killer, the owner of this channel. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about my redesign for Killer X Lucy, which is my main character for both of these channels now. Uh, so these are the two first uh, designs I did. The one of the blue jacket was when I first created my character. The second one is my, like, my last redesign. I only redesigned her once, and that was literally a year ago. And now here's my explanation of why I decided to redesign her. So, um, here we go. One day I wanted to randomly draw stuff, like cutesy stuff, or trying to learn another way to draw things a bit differently than I was before. And I came across, um, well, not came across, but I was like looking at my old photos while well, drawings of a character and I realized that I haven't done the little ghosty that I do on my character's jacket because she's meant to have a ghost on her jacket to simplify that she is a ghost. Now of course if you're a newcomer you would know who she is. Killer is a hybrid between a human and a ghost, half alive, half dead. She um, came to this world without any memories, but she knows her name was Killer, and she knows that she's a ghost and all that, and she does care about it, she thinks it's normal, and she goes around the world and basically do all these stuff, so on and so forth. So anyways, she used to have this logo on her jacket, like I said, it was a little ghost, and I missed having that ghost on her jacket. It feels like a little, like, like a little minion, like a little uh, partner, like a little pet or something. And I've always liked it because I remember when I was younger, it's like it was the only one that could signify that she is a ghost or a part of a ghost. But because I don't draw it anymore, the only reason is I couldn't fit it that I just never drew her with that logo on. And I do kind of miss that little ghost. It was it was a cute little ghost despite looking a bit evil. Um, but... Yeah, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to draw the little ghost, but in like an actual ghost form. So I went ahead, uh, pick a corner on my page and just like, started to sketch out a little ghost with the exact same face feature that I had on that ghost, which is the little, um, I like eyes down sort of thing, like a, like a angry face, but like with a spiky smile that I have on my logo, on my, um, gaming channel basically uh, that's basically the face I went for um, and I drew him and it was like oh he doesn't look that too bad actually and I thought when I first drew him it was like he was cute okay you can't blame me he was adorable when I saw him he was adorable 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 just adorable okay that that one word adorable I was thinking like, can I make different design of ghosts? I want to try that out. So that's when the, uh, where the five came in, which was, uh, the pink, the pink ghost, which has like a little heart on her head. Her, yeah, let's go with her. And she has like little heart eyes as well. Not like her eyes are literally in a heart shape, but her pupils are in a heart shape. And she was pink was, um, the original ghost is green. And I designed four more, which is the cyan one, which I added little glasses and gave him like a little mystery tail. It's like a question mark. And gave him like a little, a small bunny, which is basically a question mark itself. And I got a yellow one, um, which has like a bigger eye and a smaller eye. And its tail is always uh, uh, spin around. And that was a yellow ghost. Um, then I had that buff ghost. <laughs> Who looks like he just came out of prison, honestly. Uh, <laughs> who has like a scar down on his right eye. And a, a scar on his right arm too. 
as if he just went through hell and back, I guess, if you could say. And that's the red one. And I got a, a sixth one, which is the purple one, where it's like, you know, he's he looks emo. That's the only way I can explain that. He, he's emo. He's got the emo hair. He's like always running. He's got the tired eyes. You know, he's always tired. Every single, every single emo guy's gotta be tired, right? Right? I hope I'm not doing a stereotype. I'm sorry if that's a bit of a stereotype, okay? So, um, yeah, that was the original six. I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. I need to draw them with my character. And that's when I started to think that I want to redesign my character. There are some aspects I did thought was plain and thought was annoying. The shoes on my original character, uh, not the first one, my first ever redesigned one. This is my second. This is the first that I'm showing right now. The shoes were annoying to draw all the time because they always collide with the uh, green line that's on her cars. So I decided to make them shorter. And of course with the buttons on her trousers and the line going to the side, I decided to attach them to her shoes. And because the legs always looks plain to me, I decided to get rid of one leg, which is on her left, where it shows like she has nothing there. That's holding her shoe in and all that, but she could still kick you like a football or something like that. That's gone, but it's still there, technically. I am smacking my own leg. Yay. <laughs> uh, the other aspect was her uh, shirt. I always, I didn't, I thought that the green lines were so cool and all that, but I decided to change it. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a plain white shirt, but show like on the right side, like she has something green underneath. Like a smaller green tank top she wears underneath her white one because one of her straps I guess was cut off or something somehow and of course um, with her jacket uh, the only change I made to that is only the bum part of a jacket where it, the zip is right there and it's more puffed out with like a green line at the bottom just to give it more color than just black against white so it's now green against black and white so, um, yeah. The other part is her arms and hands. Uh, basically, well, her wrists, actually. I added little, like, um, bracelets, like, wrist bracelets, where it's, like, spiky, like, with green spikes. I want to give her that because it gives her a rock form. Like, show her, show you guys that she's a rock chick, you know? And she's, like, she likes rock and music, like, rock and roll music. Like, I don't know, Skillet or Three Days Grace or something like that. Um, of course, with her right arm, she used to have, like, a very long black sleeve. I decided to shorten that down to her, probably, upper, um, upper arm. Just, uh, just the start of it. And then the rest, it shows, like, these scars that she has, like, like, these green lines that shows, like, these scars she has, like, either from a battle or a fight. Or something like that. And along with her head and face and all that, I added piercings to her face. I remember I used to like the piercing in St. Tro. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add these. It makes the face less plain. Like, less plain. And I'm gonna change the earrings to a loop on the top of her ear. Because why not? And with her hair, I didn't want to have that, that full curve at the start before going down to the, the highlights. I want to go all straight down into like... Basically, mullets from Voltron. It, Keith Gogane, I mean. He has... Basically, there's this whole thing where Keith always has, like, this goddamn mullet. And all that. And my character was... Um, my character was uh, compared to Keith Gane That it does kind of look like a mullet sometimes. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this out. It, it actually looks quite good. I'm not gonna lie. And with the scarf, that scarf is now different. I've said, I think I said this before, I can't remember, I'm doing this in one take. <laughs> uh, at the start, she had a scarf always in the front of her, and that is so annoying. It's the same situation with the green, like, not the green ghost, I mean, the, the little ghost logo. I always hate the scarf, always going in the middle all the time, and it's, and it's so annoying. So I decided to make it behind her, but what I've actually done is I made that scarf into, like, a third arm. So in like future drawings, you might see it like holding something for a killer or like it's just floating in the wind, just like a normal scarf, so on and so forth. And that's the changes I wanted to do and have done. 
So, um, yeah. I just didn't want to make my character too plain like it was before. So I kind of made it more interesting. Um, I know this character for a long time has been a personal character. Uh, because the character is supposed to be, be me. And it still kind of is, but I do not want to make it too personal. So I tried to separate myself from my character in a way. If that makes sense. Because uh, people always say like, oh my god, it's so dangerous to have like your insert self uh, in a cartoon or something. Because you get so offended when people like insult you. It's like, nah, not for me. Even though I made it kind of similar to myself, I try not to like, you know, make it seem like people are attacking me. Because <laughs> it's always about the drawings, about the personality and stuff. And you know, it's my choice in the end of the day anyways. So now with these ghosties, I thought of her, like, lore for a while of how she came across these ghosties. I would say from her first creation, when she had that blue jacket, she already met the ghosts, but they didn't look like they that they did before. And back then, she helped those ghosts to be more happy and be, you know, cheerful and, like, trying to enjoy life as much as possible, despite them being, like, fully ghosts. And then one day in her set, like her first redesign, with the black jacket and all that, and the red scarf was always in the goddamn way, she got attacked by another ghost called Killer X Evil, who was previously called Killer X Anti, which I made a video, a speed paint video about on my first channel. But of course, all the speed paint is going to be on here, and Killer X Evil will be uh, redesigned as well um, at some point. Don't know when, but hey, yo. So, of course, Killer X Evil is always trying to kill Killer or get rid of her. And Killer X Evil wasn't always stronger than Killer. Killer was always able to beat Evil. But, of course, Evil has gained some assistance from somebody uh, in offer of getting um, the soul of Killer. And I've planned on making uh, like these um, mythical creature calls the Green Ghost and the Red Ghost. The green ghost is actually Killer, and the red ghost is actually Killer X Evil, who's always trying to kill and destroy the green ghost. And that green ghost, I would say, is still technically there because she, it, it, it is still, it's basically Killer, but basically not. And I'll put the theory out that maybe the green ghost takes control of that one scarf, acts like a third arm for her. Because the arm always tries to protect her in, in all situations. But of course, this is. That's after Killer beat the hell out of Killer X Evil. Alright? So Killer X Evil one day came along, beating up a Killer X Lucy, making sure she is about to die and all that. Because, you know, Killer X Evil, she is evil. You know? And, um, but before she puts the final stake in Killer's heart, the ghosties come along and save her, basically, and she gained this form and the ghosties and her form a bond, beaten Killer X Evil, and they just lived on as she was, but with little buddies of hers. Um, so yeah. Each ghosties do have different abilities, so like, I have thought about them before. So you got uh, Goo, the green ghost. He can combine with Killer, and this only works when Killer is combined. They're more close, by the way. The only reason they're more close is because, of course, Goo was the original logo on her jacket, but he was never drawn out again. But he was close, so I kept him close. This ability works when Killer and Goo is together. It makes her into some type of beast of a ghost, like a green ghost humanoid sort of thing. Kind of like my logo on this channel, but with Goo's face on it, from my first channel, Killer X Lucy. I know this is a bunch of plugins, but you know, hang in there, okay? Just hang in there. So with that, so with that, that's Goo's ability. Zook is a fast ghost, despite him looking tired and having all these Z's around. He's actually very fast, and when combined with Killer, it makes all her movements fast, except from flight, because Hoop the angel ghost actually provides Killer, when combined, these powerful wings that helps her with speed and strength through their wings. Bubba, the red ghost, is a ghost who, when combined with Killer, they both become, she, she becomes stronger. 
cheap guns stronger. Basically, like the Hulk, if, she, if the Hulk was gonna punch somebody uh, sideways, just like, I can't remember what that scene is. It's either he's punching Loki or punching Thor. I don't know which one it was. I actually have not seen it properly, but it's like that. But he's like through like 10 walls, like through 10 buildings by now. That's how strong she can be. Uh, Pookie, the yellow ghost, he's a silly little ghost he is. He can shape shift by himself, but he can only shape shift with killer when Goo is present with killer as well. Because he doesn't want to hurt killer when trying to shape shift with her. That is a very bad situation at times when they needed to shape shift into a bigger creature or something small. It only works when Goo is collided. Yeah, it's very complicated. And then we have Do. So Do's ability is to make people feel what the music is on. So say it's like a happy music, you're all happy and all that. If it's sad music, it's all sad and all that. And that empathizes when he's collided with Killer. Now we've got Lucifer, the the demon ghost. Um, he is all about darkness and all of that. But he gives like, he builds fear into his enemies and that's what helps killer it makes killer when he collides with killer to make anyone scared of her more she becomes more darker and more like serious with him combined so that's uh lucifer or luffy as hoop likes to say mabel provides a shield when combined because she's all love and caring, she wants to protect everybody, so she provides a shield, so that shield will go along with Killer. Cooper, Cooper, right? Cooper is all about that knowledge in his garage with his Lamborghini. I'm sorry that is old, but it was there. I have to take the opportunity. Can't blame me for a good opportunity. Anyways, Cooper is all more of knowledge. So when combined with a killer, her knowledge is through the roof. She's over 200 IQ or 900 IQ or even 10 million IQ. Something along those lines. But it only works in battle or like something different situations. Like if she's stuck in a cage, Cooper, come over here. We need to solve how to get out of here. Come on. Oh, that's a great idea. Grabs the key. I'll lock. Off we go! Uh, yeah, so that's Cooper's ability. And then we got Boo, the owl goes. The owl is wise, but you know, and, but it sees all and hears all. So Boo increases the senses of killer. So her sight, her hearing, her smell, her touch, her taste enhances everything. In those sen like all the se known senses, and because of that, you know, if she was hunt somebody down, like Boo, come along with me. We need to hunt that dog down, or that deer down. I don't know what she's hunting for. Don't ask me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all of them uh, that I have talked about, I believe, because Goo, Cooper, Mabel. Mabel's the pink one, by the way. I think I've already mentioned that. Bubba! Boo, Do, Lucifer, Hoop, Pookie, and Zook. Yeah, that's all the ten ghosts. Um, so yeah. So once they're all combined together, it makes her more powerful. But of course, they need to be very close to Killer for it to be able to work. This is where I'm putting them limita limitations to her. Because of course with ghosts, they can't face through metal. So if there's any metal, she's kind of screwed. Um, <clears throat> salt. She could easily walk past if she wants to. It's just the metal. Uh, I guess any ghost objects, like, I don't know, weapons or like chains probably would keep her down or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it depends on what universe she's going to be in. Um, and with the ghosties, they have to be, I think I've already said, they have to be really close to her to be able to combine with her. Um, um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it, I would have to say. 
I know that I made this video very long, uh, speaking about my character, because, you know, my character's awesome. I can't help it. <clears throat> so I hope you guys like the redesign of this character, or this is the first time you ever seen me and seen this character. I hope you like this design. Um, if you got anything like you want to say, just say in the comments. You know, but if you're trolling, get out of here. We don't want any trolls here. Uh, I know one person's gonna be trolling on here. Cause I know him very well. And he goddamn knows who he is and who I'm talking about. So anyways, yeah. So if, it, if there's any criticism, just like, you know, pop in, in the comments and uh, explain how I could, how I could fix it. If you just say, oh, the hands looks weird. Explain it. If you don't explain it, I would think you're a troll. Alright? So anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys do enjoy me rambling on, talking, um, showing you guys my speed paint, showing you guys my creation. I do hope you guys like Killer and I would probably do something to uh, make her a story sort of thing. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but um, yeah. I think that is pretty much it for me. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a like, comment down below if you want to, and subscribe today for more stuff like this. You know, more of my drawing stuff. Yay. And if you have any suggestions of what I should do of like drawing or some sort of arty stuffy whatever stuff, or like any art challenges you want me to try to do, uh, pop it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, but. If that's it, ask for much it. And if you have subscribed, right, make sure you hit that bell button. Because that bell button notifies you of all my videos. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me. Go sing out.